are we going to launch a major major motion picture out of Phoenix this weekend? You know it! We're going to launch a major motion picture out of Phoenix, Arizona this weekend. A movie that had big movie stars like George Lopez, Nia Vardalis from My Big Fat Greek Wedding, Patrick J. Adams from Suits. And then, of course, there's a surprise scene, the most important scene of the movie. I'm not going to tell you who the actor is, the actress is, but I'm going to give you a hint. Oscar winner, recent Oscar nominee, and the most important scene of the movie. I hope everybody will get out there and experience this movie, Car Dogs, which was made by 85 students learning feature filmmaking from an Oscar winning cast and crew. Go Devils, the most innovative school in the nation. Amazing, right? Absolutely, and you did such a fantastic job directing this and keeping everybody focused, all these ASU students. Congratulations, it's a great film. Thanks a lot, Lynette. This has been so much fun. We've been going to the Coyotes game. We went uh, we went yesterday to NASCAR, to, to the Speedway, just in the people of Arizona, people of Phoenix are just fantastic. You know, this movie shot and set in Arizona, and they're just going to love it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Big weekend for Arizona, for Phoenix. Thank you, Adam. Have fun in there. I would like you to meet Brad Pitt, circa Legends of the Fall. No, I'm just kidding. This is Joe Massengo, my new friend. Hello. Hello. You did such an amazing job in Car Dogs. I loved your role. You were kind of like the newbie. What are some of the things you learned on this set with all these fun people? Oh, my God. I feel like it's hard to wrap my head around one thing. It was such a fun experience with everybody there. What was your favorite memory of the Car Dog set? I tell you, I, m probably my favorite memory, and George would probably get on me for, for telling this story, but we were, it was one night, we were, it was late, and it was during the scene where it was just us, and he was trying to teach me about everything. And, because uh, uh, I went in, like you asked me the question earlier about him teaching, how much did I learn from him? Right, right. And I noticed for a split second that he was nervous. And I was like, there's no way he's nervous. And, I, and that was when Adam was, you know, trying to get done at a certain time and trying to keep everybody in line. And I, uh, uh, I said, Adam, I need a minute. I need to just run the lines. Can I borrow George for a second? And I pulled him aside and he said, thank you, man. It was, he hadn't done a lot of that dramatic kind of, you know, script interpretation. So it was, he hadn't had a chance to run the lines and get to feel it. Like, it wasn't just saying jokes. So right. all he needed was a moment. And I was like, even in the craziness, I felt like I was able to be like, oh, I know what that feels like. <laughs> let's take a break and let's go over here for a second. Well, that's cool. So you actually maybe taught George Lopez a thing or two. Tell I me wouldn't be that presumptuous. But <laughs> but that was fun. You guys played off each other so well. It was a, it was a bunch of grown men that were <laughs> cooped up together around a bunch of college kids. Probably don't want to know about the but I think the funnest thing, or funniest, funnest thing, uh, I carried my guitar around set a lot, and I would, I would, I would play whenever we we're in between takes over on the side. And I came back from the bathroom one day, and Patrick, uh, Patrick uh, Adams had my guitar, and he was sitting there playing. He great guitarist, great so voice. And we played a few songs together, and they started to build a crowd of all the students that were working on set. And they came over and they started gathering around when we were playing and singing. And then he started playing uh, Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. And I sang with him, and it was, it was probably one of the, the highlights for me of that set was our little impromptu Britney Spears cover song. <laughs> what is your next project? What do you have coming up? Oh, man. Um, the, the, I don't know what the future holds at this point. <laughs> Just keep being awesome, Brad Pitt, okay? Okay. Thank you, Joe Massengill. It's good to see you. We'll see you at the after party. Thank you. All right, bye. Yeah. Yeah, well. Alessandra Chorasani and Lynette Carrington with ScottSill.com. Your role in Car Dogs was hilarious. I don't want to give oh, it away. Not? Oh, yeah! I haven't even seen it yet. Well, okay, well, it's adorable, and you are so funny, and your role was so cute. What did you love most about making Car Dogs? I think it was really fun because my manager is from here and he went to ASU with Mark King, the writer. They're close old friends. So I think it was really fun to kind of experience all that. The people were awesome and it's really fun working with college kids because I never went to college. So it was really exciting and fun. Was it a crazy set? Um, crazy in the sense where everything was actually the most organized it's ever been. That was crazy because the kids were really on it, but it was crazy fun because everyone's so funny and just like had a good time. That's awesome. And what is next for you? What are your, some of your next projects coming up? Um, I have a new movie coming out called Stepsisters that'll be coming out in the end of August. And it is a girl's comedy and it's the funniest thing because it's cute and it's young and it's fresh. 
Okay, good luck with that. This is funny. It's totally different. Yes, okay, but Stepsisters, Stepsisters is coming up. Car Dogs is opening Friday. Go check out Big Alessandra. Bang Theory. You have to watch Big Bang Theory. Everybody watches that already, right? right? Big Bang Theory. Good stuff. So funny. Alessandra, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank have a good so evening. so much. Have a good evening. Tell me about all of the local angles in this film, because there are a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, from the car dealers that gave us cars, um, uh, we had Larry Miller uh, helped us out. Uh, Mark Mitsubishi helped us out. Uh, we also had uh, Super Sister Springs Dodge. Um, you know, we shot it here in Scottsdale by the Papago Mountains, so there's certainly that angle. And uh, Arizona State University with 85 uh, interns that helped us out on this movie. So yeah, a lot of ASU, uh, or a lot of Arizona action here, yeah. You did a fabulous job. Your, your script was fun, it was slick, it was exciting. You must be so proud of the final product. I am, very much so. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it took a long time to get this movie put together, but it finally happened. We're here in Scottsdale, my hometown, so I'm very excited, yeah. Congratulations, we'll much. see you inside. Josh Hopkins, hi, thanks for stopping to talk to Scottsdale.com. You had such a fun and, as I say, a deviously delicious role. What did you love most about this film? Uh, well, being being a bad guy is fun, you know, and, and this uh, Reynolds is definitely a bad guy. I had fun just because the script's so good. Mark King, the writer, was incredible. So it, it, we were all just psyched to do this. You did such an incredible job. What was it like working with 85 ASU interns on this film? It was actually great. They, they brought so much enthusiasm every day, and by the end of it, they were pros. It was fun. That's great, and I know you were instrumental in teaching them a thing or two, so that was great. Tell me what's coming up next for you. Uh, I'm in a movie, I forget what it's called, and it comes out in August. <laughs> so look for Josh Hopkins in a movie that we don't know what it's called. Check IMDb. <laughs> no, I don't think, no, I don't think so. But whatever it is, I'm sure you're going to be fabulous in it. Yeah, of course, of okay. course, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll see you inside and at the after party. Yeah, for All sure, right. for sure. All right. Thank you, guys. I won't knock your hat off. Hey, you got a hat, I got a hat. Come on, yeah. Look at you. I'm trying to, you know, I just do my jacket on, change my shoes. No, you look good. You look good. You got all dressed up. Okay. All right. Sharpest dress. Yeah, so so far you win. Great. Josh almost did you one up with the glasses, but I like the hat. I like the hat. You got to see the side. It's a cool look, but he looks cool. Tell me, yeah. tell me some of your favorite things about shooting car dogs. The camaraderie with the fellas, you know, I had a good time and um, working around cars, like being in a car. Yeah, that was like really cool to me. You know, I'm always going to car, like go to car lots, but like to work in there and feel that experience. That was cool. Real simple, but I had a good time doing that. Have you ever had a bad experience buying a car? Yeah, when I found out my credit wasn't good. When I got all the way to the end and they were like, your credit's bad. You got to put down like $80,000. I said, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> What, tell me, tell me what's next for you, because I know you got other projects. What's coming up next? Um, Tupac movie comes out, All Eyes on Me in June. November Criminals, um, Destin, Walk of Fame, Naked, Netflix, August 11th. So, a bunch of things coming this year, and then my projects I'm producing. So, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for stopping to talk with us. Hey, how are you? I love you. You look, look at you. You clean up so nice. Here, come stand. Is this good? Are we good? Okay. All right. So we got Chris Mulkey, um, the biggest troublemaker on set. Was that right? Did I, did I get that right? Okay. <laughs> so lead, lead car dog. All right. So what was it like working with 85 ASU interns on this set? Um, I, they, a lot of them had shoes that weren't tied. Uh, some of them had hats that were on backwards. So I had to really help them with that. But when I got on the set, um, I didn't know that ASU was involved in this movie. And I got on the set and I went, man, there are a lot of really young people. Uh, uh, wow, that's amazing. So young, this state is very young. And they said, well, these are students. And I went, oh, okay. So I, uh, you know, uh, I, I helped them out with a few things, but they were great. I think you served as a wonderful mentor. Another thing I learned about you today, you have a band. Why did I not know this? Tell me about your band and what you're doing. Uh, my band is called Chris Mulgan Deluxe, and uh, I have, I'm on Spotify, and uh, 
and CD Baby, and you can watch my videos on YouTube. But it's really good. It's uh, Texas Jump and Louisiana Blues, and uh, we played House of Blues in Vegas and in Los Angeles and in Louisiana. And so there's only one House of Blues in Vegas. Oh, when? <laughs> I was going to finish my thought. Let me start that again. Yeah, my band, Chris Mulkey and Deluxe, is that how we uh, we play at uh, House of Blues in Vegas at Mandalay Bay probably next month. Uh, and I got to be careful about booking the things because I don't want to, you know, get a movie and then have an obligation to like be somewhere else because if they don't like it when you call them, say, I can't make it. But um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I've sold about 40 songs in movies and TV, and uh, you know, when we rock out. I have a, I have a really good players, and if you have a band, it's always really important for to have a band who, full of players that are, play better than you. And my band is really good. Yeah. Wonderful, Chris Mulkey, you are being summoned on this carpet, so we will see you inside and at the after party. You'll see me. I'll have the popcorn and stuff like that. You can have some if you want. Okay. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Thanks. All right. So tell me your name. Gianna Frangella. And Jennifer, tell me about your role in Car Docs. Um, my role was a little girl. I got to ring a bell when they were selling the cars and everything, and it was really fun. Uh, how long were you on set? Do you remember? Um, probably a couple hours, like five, maybe four, maybe less, maybe more. Okay, and what did you learn being on this set? Um, anything can happen, really. Um, be patient, have fun, just normal stuff. Oh, that's so exciting. No, okay, tell me about you. How old are you? I'm 16. You're 16. Where do you go to school? I go to school at Skyline High School. Ooh, okay, give your school a shout out. Wait, excuse me, so we're rolling. Thanks. Give your school a shout out. Bye, Skyline. <laughs> well, congratulations. This must be so exciting for you. Yeah. Are you excited? Have you seen the movie yet? Um, not yet. I've seen trailers, but it looks really cool. I'm really excited. You're going to love this. I've already seen it. You're going to love it. And I actually remember, do, now that you mention it, I do remember seeing you in there. And I hope you have fun tonight. Thank you. I hope you have fun time, too. Okay. Thanks. It was nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too. All right.